testified to the light to prepare a people fit for the Lord. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. I welcome you to this live stream mass for the solemnity of the Nativity of St John the Baptist. I'm offering this online mass for the repose of the soul of Jacob Sargent and Father Rajesh is offering mass for the repose of the soul of Alexander MacDonald. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie Glory in Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who raised up St. John the Baptist, to make ready a nation fit for Christ the Lord. Give your people, we pray, the grace of spiritual joys and direct the hearts of the faithful into the way of salvation and peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. reading from the prophet Isaiah. Islands, listen to me. Pay attention, remotest peoples. The Lord called me before I was born. From my mother's womb, he pronounced my name. He made my mouth a sharp sword and hid me in the shadow of his hand. He made me into a sharpened arrow and concealed me in his quiver. He said to me, you are my servant Israel, in whom I shall be glorified. While I was thinking, I have toiled in vain, I have exhausted myself for nothing. And all the while my cause was with the Lord, my reward with my God. I was honoured in the eyes of the Lord, and my God was my strength. And now the Lord has spoken, he who formed me in the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob back to him, to gather Israel to him. It is not enough for you to be my servant to restore the tribes of Jacob and bring back the survivors of Israel. I will make you the light of the nations, so that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
I thank you for the wonder of my being. I thank you for the wonder of my being. O Lord, you search me and you know me. You discern my resting and my rising. You discern my purpose from afar. You mark when I walk or lie down, all my ways lie open to you. I thank you for the wonder of my being. For it was you who created my being, knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you for the wonder of my being, for the wonders of all creation. I thank you for the wonder of my being. Already you knew my soul, my body held no secret from you, when I was being fashioned in secret and moulded in the depths of the earth. I thank you for the wonder of my being. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul said, God made David the king of our ancestors, of whom he approved in these words. I have elected David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart, who will carry out my whole purpose. To keep his promise, God has raised up for Israel one of David's descendants, Jesus, a saviour, whose coming was heralded by John when he proclaimed a baptism of repentance for the whole people of Israel. Before John ended his career, he said, I am not the one you imagine me to be. That one is coming after me, and I am not fit to undo his sandal. My brothers, sons of Abraham's race, and all who fear God, the message of salvation is meant for you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The time came for Elizabeth to have her child, and she gave birth to a son. And when her neighbours and relations heard that the Lord had shown her so great a kindness, they shared her joy. Now on the eighth day they came to circumcise the child. They were going to call him Zechariah after his father, but his mother spoke up. No, she said, he is to be called John. They said to her, but no one in your family has that name, and made signs to his father to find out what he wanted to be called. The father asked for a writing tablet and wrote, his name is John, and they were all astonished. At that instant his power of speech returned, and he spoke and praised God. All their neighbours were filled with awe, and the whole affair was talked about throughout the hill country of Judea. All those who heard of it treasured it in their hearts. What will this child turn out to be, they wondered. And indeed, the hand of the Lord was with him. The child grew up and his spirit matured, and he lived out in the wilderness until the day he appeared openly to Israel. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Isaiah sings about the restoration of Zion and the renewal of the people. The exiles have returned home and the people look forward with hope. But Isaiah speaks to a people who are also disillusioned by exile. But now as they return home, there is a new enthusiasm and hope. Yesterday, the Prime Minister announced the return of public services from the 4th of July. And so hopefully we may begin, and I do stress begin, to resume Mass and the sacraments. But curb your enthusiasm. It will be a gradual return and many will still need to make use of these live streaming masses for some time to come. Please continue to read the weekly online newsletter for updates. 
In Isaiah's time, many had lost the practice of their faith, and even the rebuilding of the temple did little to win them back. Indeed, there remained many problems in society. Greed was plain, and many were experiencing poverty. And so the kind of Jerusalem the exiles dreamed of was far from a reality. We pray for all our parishioners, especially those who have found they have enjoyed their Sunday mornings free from their religious obligations. Hopefully they too will be excited to return to the church in the weeks and months to come. May the opportunity that we have already now have on Friday and Saturday mornings to pray in the church, the gradual resumption of masses and sacraments, may this encourage you and raise up your hope in salvation. Just being in the presence of Jesus Christ before the blessed sacrament in adoration has the power to impart many graces. This special feast of the Nativity of St John the Baptist shows how he leaps for joy in his mother's womb, as Jesus, in his mother's womb, comes close. Indeed, as Father Boniface, in his reflection, which we posted to our Facebook page today, shows us, this is a moment of redemption, because joy is the disposition of the redeemed. It is why, unlike most saints, we can celebrate his Nativity rather than waiting for his death. As servants of the Lord, we too have been chosen by God to announce the word of the Lord, bringing people salvation. This will also involve calling people to repentance, which will be a key feature of the mission of John the Baptist. And this will mean telling people the truth, the truth of marriage, for instance a divine institution and a sacrament which is explicitly taught by Jesus Christ in the Gospel. And we saw on Monday this week that the truth of Christian marriage was something that Thomas More and John Fisher made clear to Henry VIII, even at the cost of their own lives. There are many people, even in our own families, who have yet to bring their partnership before the altar of God. And there are many people who perhaps need to take their previous marriage before the marriage tribunal to see if there are grounds for annulment. We pray for them as they discern the invitation to remain in the truth of Christ and promise to accompany them as they begin the process of putting things right. John's name means God is gracious, and so we can be confident in knowing that God always gives us the grace to live out our vocation and to be courageous heralds of the gospel. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, we have received the message of salvation and are called to hand it on to the next generation. And so we pray for the church. May we all remain in the truth of Christ. Lord, in your mercy, 
hear our prayer for our parish may all parishioners be heralds of the gospel lord in your mercy hear our prayer for all married people and those preparing for marriage may their union be a constant image of christ and the church lord in your mercy hear our prayer for vocations to the priesthood diaconate and the religious life so that we may continue to experience a gracious god in the sacrament lord in your mercy hear our prayer for nhs staff care and key workers may they be strengthened as they try to restore us to life lord in your mercy hear our prayer for the sick housebound and those self-isolating may they know that they are in our thoughts minds and prayers lord in your mercy hear our prayer for the faithful departed and for those with anniversaries at this time may they now inherit internal life lord in your mercy hear our prayer turning to our parish patron our lady of the rosary we pray how mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for our sinners now and at the hour of our death amen almighty father we thank you for the wonder of our being and so we ask you to hear and answer our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God for ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We place these offerings on your altar, O Lord, to celebrate with fitting honour the nativity of him who both foretold the coming of the world's Saviour and pointed him out when he came, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father. Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, in his precursor, St. John the Baptist, we praise your great glory, for you consecrated him for a singular honour among those born of women. His birth brought great rejoicing, even in the womb he left for joy at the coming 
of human salvation. He alone, of all the prophets, pointed out the Lamb of Redemption. And to make holy the flowing waters, he baptized the very author of the baptism, and was privileged to bear him supreme witness by the shedding of his blood. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, pleni sunt celi et terra, gloria tua, hosanna in excelsis, benedictus, qui venit in nomine Domini, hosanna in excelsis. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Richard, our Bishop, and all those who hold into the truth and on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect, make it spiritual and acceptable, so it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice, in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty, from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, 
and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask your almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who, through this participation at the altar, receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon, through Christ our Lord, for whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Draw him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Quit all it peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Alios ehei, quit all it peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Alios ehei, quit all it peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Through the tender mercy of our God, the dawn from on high will visit us.
let us pray. Having feasted at the banquet of the heavenly Lamb, we pray, O Lord, that finding joy in the nativity of St. John the Baptist, your church may now, as the author of her rebirth, the Christ whose coming John foretold, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. And just to remind you, Mass on Thursday will be at 6pm, as I'm going off now to see my dad in Bognor, and the church will be open for private prayer on Friday morning and Saturday morning, 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave.